In Illustrator CS5, in addition to introducing some new tools and functionality, we wanted to revisit some existing methods of the way people work and see if we could improve on them. So one thing that's really common is to have to put new content behind some existing artwork. So I have a train here, I want to put some background behind it. Instead of opening up my layers and going through the right place in the stacking order and making sure I insert the object there, I can now simply choose Draw Behind with the train selected and the next thing that I draw will go right behind that object. So it'll actually go behind it in the stacking order in the layers. Any subsequent artwork I, I draw will actually go even further down the layer stack. So it's basically inverting the normal way that Illustrator draws, which would be one object on top of the other. And that's uh, the way Draw Behind works. The other thing that we've added in terms of these new drawing modes is something called Draw Inside, which is basically automatic creation of a clipping mask. So let me uh, move up here. I want to go and select this blue rectangle. And what I want to do is add some texture to it. But instead of going and locking everything else around it or entering isolation mode, um, I can simply go here and say Draw Inside. You'll see that dotted lines appear to show me the selected object. I'm going to now going to click off of that so that I can go choose a color without replacing its color. Pick up my blob brush and I want to just draw like this and create some texture. And when I release you see what happens is it actually became part of a clipping mask where the blue rectangle is the clipping path and everything else is content inside it. Draw Inside also supports paste so you can do paste inside or if you do a file place to place an image or something you can do that with a selected art object as well.